So what is a slip disc? A slip disc is a condition when the spongy portion or the jelly-like portion within the disc, which is the cushion between the vertebrae, comes out and presses on a nerve. It's a very common condition in young people. So does it mainly affect young people? It tends to affect people between the ages of 30 and 50 most commonly and it's an excruciatingly painful condition causing a lot of leg pain and a lot of misery. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms quite typically are uh, back pain but that usually is something that most people tolerate. It's later on when they start getting sciatica which is really horrible leg pain along the course of a nerve that they come to attention. So well, how is a slip disc, the slip disc diagnosed? Um, it's usually a clinical diagnosis, so one can pick it up based on the history that somebody gets very severe excruciating pain down the leg. Um, after that, one needs an MRI scan if, uh, if we plan to treat the patient surgically or by a pain relieving method. And say someone has a slip disc, what treatments might be available to them? Uh, well, the commonest thing we tell people is that this is a condition that often resolves on its own. It can take up to 6 to 8 weeks, sometimes up to 12 weeks, but it often settles on its own accord. The problem is, it is a very painful condition, and during that period we ought to control the pain. And that is something that most doctors can manage to do with simple painkillers, paracetamol, anti-inflammatory medication and so on. Occasionally, the pain is uncontrollable, whereupon they refer to a specialist. We would often control the pain by a simple injection into the back that can be done as a day case procedure and often gives very good relief. Very rarely surgery required for a slip disc. And is there anything that people should look out for? Well, one should be worried about the degree of compression that a disc can cause. As you can see here, if this disc um, herniated into the middle of the spinal cord, it can compress all the nerves down to the leg. So one can lose bladder and bowel control, become incontinent. They can lose sensation in their legs or get very severe pain down both legs. That is a surgical emergency called cordae equina and those people need surgical treatment very quickly.